Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to identify yourself in four easy steps. I also call this discovering or rediscovering your authentic self. This is super huge. If you are trying to live a better life at all whatsoever, you need to know who you are. You need to be honest with yourself and you need to have some open communication with yourself. And that's what we're going to do right now. What I want you to do is grab a pen and a piece of paper. The reason that you're using a pen and paper, and I talk about this all the time, is because your brain works differently. You retain information better and you have a more, it's a more intimate process. So if there's any way that you're able to do that as opposed to any other type of method, that is preferred. All right, with that said, if you have not already, I am asking you to please help my channel. All right, so you are going to take your pen and piece of paper and you are going to make four easy lists. First one, things that bring you joy. You are going to identify things around you that make you feel really good. You are going to identify the things that make your heart sing. We are going to do this because that is part of, that is a big part of what's going to make you happy and who you are. And if you can find a combination of stuff that makes you happy and you can incorporate it into your life every day, you see where this is going. I don't have to go into that. Next up, list of people who inspire you. Dead, alive, you know them, you don't know them. If they inspire you, put it down on your list. Are there people that are in your life who uh, don't inspire you? Ask about it. I'm not going to edit that out. I have a cat. A couple of them. <laughs> so, next up is things you have done that make you proud. Accomplishments that you have done. All right, I'm going to sidestep on that just real quickly and say those are things that you have done, not your children or your significant other or somebody else who's close to you. There are things that you've done. Make that list of things that you've done that are accomplishments that you're proud of. Because you can go back to it, especially when you're having a rainy day. You're going to need that, right? Right. Areas that need improvement is your next list. All right, that one sucks, right? But you're going to be honest, okay? And nobody has to see this list but you. In fact, I strongly recommend that you put it in a place that nobody will see it because you will be less likely to lie. And you need to be honest if this is going to work, right? Right. So, areas that need improvement. You're going to go ahead and put those down. You're going to then think about it and you are going to improve it and you are going to keep growing in those areas because now you're admitting that you do it and if you keep doing it and you don't try to make it better that's when you get into you know being an asshole and we don't we don't want assholes here right all right so now that you have everything down on your list there is another step to it you're going to start looking into different ways that you can bring these things that bring you joy closer to you and more frequent for you. So you're going to, you know, if you can get a job in a certain area or something like that, anything and everything that you can do to incorporate joy is a good idea. Also, it helps you identify who you authentically are. You, you can't pretend to be somebody that you're not or not embrace who you are by doing the things that you enjoy and be happy. You just can't. So try this. So then the next one that you had is a list of people who inspire you. This one's a little bit tricky because you're going to want to try to spend more time with the people who inspire you, but if they're famous or they're deceased or you don't really know them in real life or you can't get to them, it's going to be hard to put them into close proximity, right? 
you can meet more people. Online is a great way to meet people. It's a great way to meet like-minded people. This group right here, if you're watching this video, you guys have something in common already. You're interested in making your lives better. Fantastic. Start learning from each other. It's a wonderful thing to do. Branch out a little bit. But also, when you look at that list, and like I said before, if there are people in the list that, or who are not on the list, who are close to you in life, you might have to make some changes. And we have some videos about that too. And we have videos about identifying what might be going on if you have some questions about that. There's all sorts of stuff that could be going on. But if there are people who don't make the list and they're really close to you, start asking questions about that. It's not making you happy. Making that list of accomplishments that you've done, it's a great thing for you to go back to any time that you're a little bit down or you know not feeling the best and just remind yourself of that good moment. And if you don't have a lot of things to put on the list, well, start making them. What would make you proud of yourself? Start doing things that make you proud of yourself. You're in control of yourself. You are the master of your own destiny. You truly are. Not to say that, yes, depression exists and things like that. Absolutely. And we are not downplaying that here. Absolutely not. And this is not a key to solve every problem. But it's a damn good starting point. So moving on to the next one, your areas that need improvement. It's a great place for you to really self-reflect and say, oh, I could be doing better in these areas. And by being brutally honest with yourself, forgive yourself, allow yourself to be admonished for your behaviors and your actions, but then do better in the future. It's an important step in the growing process. I'm going to leave it here for now, but there's tons more information. I encourage you because there's tons, tons more. Also, we have a build-off that we can do from this. This is your list. Start there. But then what if we started keeping a kind of diary of what we're doing every day in all of these sections? Tell me what you think below. Or send me an email. All my contact information is in the description box. I look forward to hearing from you. And thank you for all of your love and support. Find your authentic self. Live your best life. I will see you guys soon. Love and light.